St David's High School is a denominational school based here in Dalkeith. We have approximately 770 pupils. The most important thing for us is are our school values. Our school values are based on our Aspire values. So that's achievement, service, perseverance, inclusion, respect and excellence. And we, we build all everything that we do from our learning and teaching approaches, from our uh, achievement and celebration of achievements is based all around our aspire. We try to get our young people to really, to really engage with that from the moment they step foot in the school to the moment they leave. IT and digital learning is crucial for all of our young people. We see it as a way that to level up learning, to give every young pe person a chance to make sure they they can engage with and and they can succeed in their learning in the classroom. Read and Write was first um, sort of brought to my attention when I was at an authority meeting and one of the other Support for Learning teachers um, highlighted it as a good tool that some of their young people were using. We've got a number of young people here at the high school who literacy is a, is a barrier and some of the young people that are coming up to high school have got a very low reading and spelling age. Um, so this highlighted straight away to me that this is a, a tool that a lot of our young people could um, access. I saw Read and Write as a tool that most pupils would be able to access, particularly the kids with additional support needs. There was um, a huge number of tools there that would be really beneficial to kids with additional support needs. I think it's about independence and I think it's about being able to do the task that you need to do in your lesson as a pupil without having to put your hand up and say, Miss, could you read? Miss, could you help? I think the features uh, such as the, the reading feature where a pupil can have a section of text and can get read and write to read it aloud to them is really beneficial for those readers who are, you know, slower, they take longer to read, they maybe struggle with decoding. Uh, so that is definitely a really great feature. Uh, and also the talk and type is really beneficial. So a pupil who might struggle with writing is now able to speak aloud their answers and have it written down for them by read and write. I use the read and write toolbar to like help my work. Like I can use the dictionary, which tells me the definitions. Or sometimes if I'm working, I can put headphones in and like listen to the text. It's like easier because like there's no teacher that has to like come up. There's like less weight in, and also it's just like more like less time gets taken because I can just like have it read out to me. It's very good for dyslexics and everyone really because you can get your overlays on it. You can get it to read who you and you can like speak who it and it, it writes it down. The fact that. Um, St David's High School are launching Read and Write. I feel it's really, really exciting. It makes me feel really proud um, at the stage that, you know, being a dyslexic learner, I know what a difference this is going to make for all the young people. I usually use the Read Aloud and the Overlay because the Overlay, I can change colour so I can read with the colour I am best at reading with and I can get it read aloud to me and his listening is a little better than reading for me. Read and write like helps you with like your spelling and like understanding stuff. Like if you don't understand a word, you can like go into the dictionary. And like if you need an overlay, you can use an overlay on it. I'm going into classrooms and I can see where the benefit is. I can see kids who are they're getting that light bulb moment where they understand what's happening in front of them more than they did before. That's the type of thing that will really help us to develop the independent learners that are going to achieve and hopefully take that learning, not just through school, not just into their exams, through the, the senior phase, but into life as well.